Can I make my very own caveman art tools using real fire? And how will they compare to modern day fancy art supplies? I honestly have no idea, but I intend to find out. Welcome to my quest to master one of the oldest artistic mediums on the planet, charcoal. I don't usually ride a bike with flowers on it, but but Ali's bike has this nifty basket where I can attach the camera. So this is how we're cruising. Step one to make my own charcoal tool, charcoal tools, charcoal tools, tongue twister. So step one to make my very own charcoal tools uh, from what I've read online, finding a willow tree to use as the sticks is the best kind. And I think there's one down the street here. Yes, there it is. Off to a great start. Willow branch acquired. And the next step now, oh, camera almost went right off the edge. The next step is to cut it down into smaller, like pen shaped size. There we go. Oh, come back here. Boom. And now I'm gonna whittle off, I keep dropping them. I'm gonna whittle off the bark. And I always prefer to do whittling and these kind of projects outside. You just chill, look at the view, listen to the birds. It's, it's very pleasant. I could do like 50 more of these, but this is the last one. And done. There they are. And now I'm gonna get a fire going. ripping now the fire is basically going to act as the oven we're going to cook the willow sticks and that's what will turn them into the charcoal tools so i'm going to bundle them up in a nice little tin foil wrap now i know the cavemen probably didn't have tin foil but we're doing things a little different it looks like a little burrito I love it. Just It's full of sticks though, so probably wouldn't be that tasty. And now it's time to cook up the burrito. So I think, I don't know. I think I'm just going to throw it on and then hope for the best. There it goes. Cook, my precious cook. gonna flip it so that it's well it, oh, oh my goodness <laughs> this got sparks I'm gonna flip it so that it cooks evenly yeah look at that it's definitely working all right tuck back in and we'll wait like another 20 minutes or so and then open it up quick interruption I had to show you guys this look how pretty the sunset is it's so weird. It's like ultra foggy over there. And then boom, just beautiful. Okay, back to it. Don't leave your fire unattended. <laughs> It's 
time, let's take out our sticks. Whoa, it's literally on fire. All right, well, we're about to find out if it worked or not. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's gonna be hot. It's actually, oh, it's a little, little toasty. It's like hot potato. Unwrap, unwrap. Ooh. Let's see. Oh yeah. Nice. Check these out. Perfectly cooked and hot still. Uh, perfectly cooked charcoal sticks. Phase one officially complete. We have created, I keep forgetting they're still hot. We have created our charcoal tools just like the cavemen did. And now the question is, can I even draw with them? And will they be better than the fancy expensive ones I got from Amazon? It's time to find out. It's the next day. I got my slippers on, got a coffee, and we're gonna get into it. The moment of truth. Will it just crumble or will it actually draw? Oh, dang. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know it's just squiggly lines, but this works. It's literally, it was just a stick before and now it's a drawing utensil. Time to level things up and do something other than just lines. First time ever trying charcoal. Let's see if I can draw some sort of scene with it. It's done and I am thoroughly impressed. Even the little nubs were great. Like I could be I could be selling these at the craft store and be the next Elon Musk of charcoal tools because they worked really well. But okay, here is a look at the finished drawing. It was actually really fun doing all the smudging. Like it gets everywhere and I probably shouldn't have worn a white t-shirt, but it was really fun to do. Now I'm going to compare my caveman style homemade tools with the fancy modern day version. For $30, I got this set of professional artist charcoal. Let's put these to the test. Whoa. I mean, they already feel really cool and sleek compared to my sticks that are all like knobby and that's, that's smooth. Just a simple line test to start. And now the modern day one. Oh, look at that detail with the edges. Okay, that's pretty sweet. That would have come in handy for all the little details on the cabin. Let's do a little smudge test. Look at these two trees I just drew. It's pretty obvious which one is the modern day version versus the caveman tool. The results are in. Fun to make and free. More expensive, but definitely more legit if you were to take charcoal seriously. Literally two minutes to spare for my 24 hour time limit. Thanks for coming along. What a fun process. And I'll see you guys next time. I gotta go wash my hands.